Hello everyone, we are going to make a brisket this morning and what we're going to need is obviously the brisket itself. Um, you're going to have to prep the brisket by taking some of the fat off of it. You want about a quarter inch layer of fat there. And for the ingredients you're going to want some kosher salt, some uh, garlic powder um, some black pepper some Dijon mustard and liquid smoke and what you're going to do is you're going to add a quarter cup of salt I'm going to go and have a tablespoon of garlic powder. You're going to want, most recipes call for three tablespoons of black pepper. Uh, we are only using two since Lacey's not a big spice person. And just mix those three ingredients together nice and good and this forms your rub Then you're going to take a half a cup of Dijon mustard. You're going to want two tablespoons of liquid smoke to mix in with the mustard. You'll mix that all together nice and good. That way the liquid smoke's not just pooling up in there.
and you'll take your meat, put it on your cooking rack. And take the mustard and liquid smoke concoction and basically we use a little flavor brush thing and just paint it all over the meat. And this way you can get into every little nook and cranny and what this stuff does is allow the seasonings that are in the bowl that you mixed up earlier something to stick to the meat too. Make sure you do both sides and all four sides or all all the sides And once you get everything all covered up, add the dry ingredients over it and kind of rub it into the meat a little bit. <coughs> and there again, do all, all the sides. Once that is done, you can wrap it up and put it back in the fridge and let it sit for overnight. And let the seasons kind of soak into the meat a little bit. But just wrap her up nice and good. Um, since it's already in the baking pan, it'll make it easier for 
next morning when you uh, put it in the oven. So here's your brisket the next morning. Um, it's going to take roughly 8 to 10 hours to cook. So we're going to add our meat thermometer. And stick it into the thickest portion of the uh, meat you have. And wrap it back up. And what you're going to do is you're going to set the oven, preheat the oven to 300 degrees. And as you can see, the meat temperature is at 41 degrees right now. I do have the alarm set for 180 degrees. So, once the oven's preheated, go ahead and stick it in the oven. This will cook in the oven for up to six to seven hours, depending on the size of meat you have. Um, you're going to shoot for 180 degrees uh, meat temperature. And just let it slow cook. Um, I am setting an, a timer on there for six hours. So at about three and a half hours in, I hit 180 degrees. Um, they say at 180 degrees it is cooked, but since I still have two hours and 19 minutes left to go, I'm going to continue to leave it at, leave it cooking. And I just turned down the heat from uh, 300 down to 200 just to keep it at the 180. And from this point on, it'll just basically slow cook and tenderize at 180 degrees. Um, in about two hours, um, I will be removing it so I can pull the uh, wrapping off of it. And I will cook it at another... Um, two hour, hour to two hours um, with the tinfoil off to give you that nice nice crust. So we've hit our six hour mark. Now I'm going to pull her out. As you can see, it's more than well cooked well enough, and 
I did have 180 at one point, it's down to 176. So it is completely done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that cover off, we're going to stick it right back in the oven, and I'm going to set the alarm for to hit 200 degrees. And at that point, we're going to keep the meat at 200 degrees for an hour. What this does is it hardens the outside, the seasonings. And as you can see, I set my alarm for 200 degrees. We're at 175 now. I have the temperature set at 250. Um, it'll go probably another two hours like this, but once we hit 200 degrees, it'll go for an hour afterwards. Now all we can do is sit there and wait. So my alarm just went off. We are at 201 for meat temperature and we're at 300 in the oven and we will go another one hour from now which it is 445 at trying to keep that meat at 200 degrees and what that does is makes it um, makes all the tough muscles a little tender and kind of allows the meat to tenderize We'll see you in an hour. So here we are an hour later and look at how that looks. Now they say you can do a you pick it up and do a, a spring test. You basically you kind of pick it up from the center and as you can see the thing flexes. The more it flexes without ripping, the better, but it is pretty tender. It wants to break. So, I'm pretty sure this is done. I'm going to let it rest for about 15 minutes, and I'm going to cut her up. And I guess I feel bad for you guys because you're not going to be able to eat it. But uh, it looks delicious. Um, along with that, the wife made some nice cheesy potatoes to go along with it. So we have plenty to eat tonight.